there's going to be a highway that God creates from Assyria back to the promised land, like as it was to Israel in the day that he came up out of the land of Egypt. Can you see how it's, mm. it's Exodus all over again? Liberation from a tyrant governmental system, right? Slavery. Isaiah's reading Exodus on to their time. The book of Revelation is going to read Isaiah on to Revelation. Martin Luther King is going to read Isaiah and Revelation into the civil rights movement. I mean, in so many ways, it's the same message of liberation again and again and again through these poetic verses. Is there a way where we can take that from a spiritual context? Absolutely. Right. Exactly. And I think that's one of the major impulses of the New Testament and of early Christianity generally, like, right, where we think of the kingdoms of this world and there is an, an absolutely accurate way to spiritualize this, where we can think of sin, exile of, of sin, or the things that can afflict us emotionally, psychologically, spiritually. Well, one thing that ties in with that is that Assyria, from what I understand, with all the terror, with the way it would come in and, and take people away, they really wanted to erase the people's identity. Mm. Uh, so they did not know where they came from. They did not know who they were. And so that, that idea of outcasts, right? How many people are struggling with identity mm -hmm. from different mm -hmm. things that have really happened to them? And so they may feel outcasts of Israel. And yet they are, they do have a place. They, they should remain with us. They should be brought. And then as they are, they find out who they are, whose they are. Mm -hmm. And that identity is just powerful. But you know, I think it's interesting because when I saw that hi highway, I thought about the covenant path. Ah. You know how we can be <laughs> the same word, we, it can mean so many things because the covenant path can take us, you know, closer to the Savior and back to our Heavenly Father. And sometimes we think that the covenant path is only, you know, baptism and ordination to the, to the priesthood and then um, the endowment in the temple. But if you think about it, it also includes the sacrament every week. And every week we need to have that ordinance. We need to participate and, and we need to renew our covenants. And that's part of that highway that the Lord has prepared for us to go back. <laughs>